Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing plus a bit of uh, permanent dark events. My name is Saiken and we're going to do Operation Swamp Hammer today. We're at the end of month number two. So far it's going okay. Got four scientists, uh, no, four engineers, three scientists. Got a bunch of decently leveled um, soldiers. But our biggest problem is that we haven't researched any upgrades and we won't research any uh, of those upgrades anytime soon. The next big step is to get our um, uh, shadow uh, chamber done and then we can continue the golden path mission. So with that being said, let's jump into the retaliation mission here and see who can help us in order to win that. So far, our Reaper had been the MVP of this run. It's good to see that in every single challenge, another MVP kind of arises. So let me just um, outfit the team real quick. Good, here we go. So Sane is going to uh, use our normal shotgun, the DLC weapon, and a flashbang, Boom Boom, whom uh, I have just redesigned a bit to make her the more simple human being she is. Uh, we'll run with uh, two grenades. We got uh, Wrath uh, with the improved crit on the uh, vector rifle and we got Hayward uh, with the healing. So that should be fine for now. Uh, no armor upgrades, of course. Uh, we just have basic weapon upgrades. We don't even have the GTS to get um, PCSs on everyone or on anyone for that matter. So. Let's see how this is going to turn out. I'm fully expecting that we're going to see a few mechs and some hard enemies, plus most likely the Chosen. And there we go, we just landed. Nice, we got some support from other resistance operators. We will do exactly that. Wrath is joining and will actually be the first one to just scout out what's ahead. Given that we haven't found anything, Hayward is following. Boom Boom, the simple being, is going to move as well. And finally Sane we can put to here. The task is uh, pretty simple, just neutralize everyone. They have a patrol moving here. All right, time for the resistance activities. Nice little shot. Good job, guys. And we're starting to see that there's a Viper down there. All right. I am on the move. Moving a bit closer. The patrol is upwind. So that will not be a kill. Eh, which means we're not going to take the shot because we don't want to be exposed. Moving into full cover. And that might deal with the purifier. There we go. Nice little kill. Good job. Boom Boom moves up. The question is really, should we remove the, um, the sector it's cover? And you know what? The answer is probably no. We have no remote start. So what I would want to do is 
Just blocking that entrance here so that there is not a second kind of patrol just coming up here. They need to now come up here, which is fine for me. Might as well take the shot, 50% chance to hit uh, it, and if we're missing, that's two points of damage. So it's really a win-win. Oh, that was rough. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot. That was a rough Civilians. one. Take those bastards down. All right. You want to play rough? I'll show you rough. Very nice, good job. Good, so that should deal with the sector. Hmm, do we have an option to maybe find high ground and take a few shots? Like something over here would be nice. I think that's not a bad idea. There are no chrysalids yet, so I don't need to be afraid of getting spotted out. Uh, that was stupid. I should have checked beforehand. That was not very smart. Specifically since the Stun Lancer is now in a beautifully close range uh, to charge onto us. Alright, this should hit the um, Viper and explode the tanks that she's hiding behind. Took a bit more of a beating than I would have guessed uh, she would. Stun Lancer still in half cover. So yeah, we lost quite a few civilians, not going to lie, that was suboptimal. The st uh, step here was indeed a mistake. Stun Lancer takes out the last uh, civilian. Good. We gotta get this one right, though. Okay, moving in. Well, the good news is we kind of killed them all. The bad news is it. What did it cost us? Everything. The entire team. All right. Let's do what we're supposed to do, which is scout the area. Hayward moves up. I could theoretically move up. I think I'm going to pass for now. I'm just going to overwatch. That was a rough fight. 
Luckily for us, someone else paid the price. Uh, we got two stun lancers and the captain there. Nice. Very nice. Almost killed one of the stun lancers. That's pretty damn good. Got a few options here for remote start. I appreciate those. Moving closer. Nothing. And moving even closer. Alright, that means we can sprint up. Luckily, Advent is never using explosives against you. I just don't understand it. Wow, so many stun lancers. Alright, come on, kill some of those pesky stun lancers. That's one down. Nice little crit, good job. Okay, we got to deal uh, with the two stun lancers over here. In the meantime, though, this here would kill one of the stun lancers. Going to take it. <laughs> nice. Alright, activates the other stun, uh, stun lancer. That is generally fine for me. Okay, so how do we deal with that guy? Could use our flashbang to make sure that he cannot charge us. That will get us out of range from the other stun lancer. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. Well. Uh, crit uh, definitely works as well. This is not a hundred percent hit. Uh, crit chance pretty low. This here will be a flanking position plus some cover. Nice. Yeah, we're just going to take the safe route here. Alright, two stun lances down, and one uh, more just running over. There are two stun lances over here. And we're losing quite a few civilians, down to eight. Okay. I am at your service. Well, 
Well, that's a good solid shot. Uh, unfortunately, I think that won't be enough to just kill him. Moving to here, however. Provides us with a nice little uh, flanking position. That together with our silent killer ability should shut this guy off. There we go. One more enemy. And we still got a few civilians left over, so to speak. Don't want to go too close because uh, they are very likely faceless ones in there. Unfortunately, a missed shot. Would have been a great opportunity. Perfect. Come on, take this guy down. Buddy this fool. Show him who's boss. They are flanking him nicely. And look at that. Did he learn his lesson? Potentially not. Moving to here. That's a flanking position, and that should end this charade. Nice little blood trail hit. We're out of ammunition, and that means the faceless ones are going to show. Only one. I guess the faceless one uh, thinks there can only be one. Has infiltrated the whole host by itself. 90% uh, shot missed, that is just so unfortunate. I'm on the move. Let's see if we can somehow kill it this turn. That's a pretty damn good shot. And it's down to five hit points, which means if we are just charging in, that'll be a kill. Well, suck on that. Good. I wouldn't call it flawless. I played poorly at the beginning, but I think uh, the second half was very solid XCOM. Good, we got one promotion. Hayward finally gets um, her promotion. It's now a sergeant. We're going to go for Revival Protocol. I like Haywire. It's great, but Revival Protocol to counter unconsciousness. Um, as well as potential Spectre um, takeover. We got a few civilians, that's good. And uh, it's 24 additional supplies. Good, very good. Commander, having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. So wait, Sane and Boom Boom? Yeah, Sane and Boom Boom, uh, that is something I can get behind. So, yeah, well. Not the best photo. Good, so we got some level of uh, bonds here and cohesion. That's fine. The last mission just saved us a region and gave us some more income. But we really didn't get anything 
massive out of it. So it was a difficult mission. Um, one promotion and that's about it. Um, even more resistance contacts. I don't think that we will need that. We're continuing with grinding intel. I'll wait until the supplies just stack up so that we're saving three days. And now there is always a risk of an ambush on all of the covert actions. That's not bad. I mentioned it before. It's essentially giving us free missions. So someone recovered from their wounds and apparently something happened, which is why why the game just paused for a second. I have no idea though. Oh, holy shit, 101 intel. That is so damn good. Okay, rapid excavation. Yeah, we get an instant uh, research. That's okay. That increases our chance for um, uh, melee attacks. Ten days of research for an immediate uh, excavation. I think that's not worth it. We're instead going for plated weapon, uh, plated armor for now. I mentioned it theoretically. Uh, sectored autopsy is also a thing because we could uh, try to go for mine shields, or we should go for mine shields. Faceless one for mimic beacons is a good one later and Viper for additional healing, so stronger healing. Um, all of those are good, but we are resuming um, the plated armor. And in four days, we are, in six days rather, we're essentially starting to build the Shadow Chamber here. The reason why I didn't take the immediate clearing is 10 days, and then this would have been already down to 10 days, so I don't see a point. We don't need more than six. Um, afterwards, we're just going to um, speed it up. And by the way, I knew why the game stopped now, uh, because uh, the experimental ammunition uh, has, final, uh, has finally um, finished. So are we going for another ammunition? Let's think about it. Probably could use another ammo, uh, ammunition. Uh, we got two cores, so yeah, one more ammunition. And just for my education, what did we get? Hmm. Apparently nothing. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have been pretty cushy working with Advent, living in the colonies. So why the sudden change of heart? All right, load out. No, nothing. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. That is strange. We had experimental ammunition. Hmm. Yeah, but. Hmm. Damn, I cannot reconstruct it. I was under the impression. Um, I was under the impression that we had am ammunition almost done. Apparently that is not the case. And maybe we got sabotaged by the Chosen. To pay close attention to these Chosen, Commander. They each seem to have unique advantages in combat. That Currently her, uh, she's just doing retribution. So that shouldn't have been the case. Yeah, I'm a bit miffed because... Um, ammunition would have saved us here. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Let this stand as a reminder to you, Commander. Bit of income deduction. Well, that is okay. All who would stand with you in defiance will suffer the same fate. Good. We got... 40 intel and two promotions, which is fine, and a wounded soldier. I guess that's okay as well. Let's take a look what else we could do. 
few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. Yeah. 15 days to get a skirmisher. Not sure. Soldier's Bond is okay. I suppose it's something that we could do. Plus three aim isn't bad. We get a low chance of uh, an um, ambush. We do not need supplies. Yeah. 14 days to gain an additional um, resistance order. Is that worth it? Whom could we pick for that mission? Yeah, we need all of our soldiers, corporal and upwards at the moment in the field. So it's kind of down to the squaddies. And question is, do we really want to do that? So probably the Sergeant Plus um, is a no starter here. If we were to go for, if we were to go for uh, bonding, we could use two corporals here. Just for instance, a specialist in the grenadier to bond. That's not a bad idea. Or specialist and rabbit to bond. That's also not a bad idea. The aim. Um, bonus only is really helpful on on a sniper. We could go for the next higher rank of bonds, but we can't upgrade it due to the lack of a training center. So there's really no point in doing that. If for if uh, for anything, this here would be um, a three aim uh, reward mission, and putting nine days into it. Um, is maybe not a good idea. So as much as I like to go into a mission, maybe it is more clever to wait four days and just get a new slate of resistant bring covered ops missions. The, the other option would be to just go for another faction hero, but we don't need a broad or deep roster. I think we're fine just with what we do have. We need promotions, we need faster missions, we need intel, we could use engineers, scientists, all of that is helpful. Reduction, potentially reduction of, um, of progress, maybe even new resistance orders that do not include like the what, 15% more experience. Yeah, 10% more experience. Don't get me wrong, 10% uh, is okay, but we do have only one or two slots uh, at the moment. So this is just not going to move the needle a lot. And we do have competing other um, resistance orders that are much better. Yeah, we're not going to go for any mission. Instead, let's promote the rookies. Got another Grenadier here. There we go. And secondly, we got another Ranger. I don't think that they will see an action soon, but who knows? I mean, you never know, right? Our roster um, keeps getting more and more stacked. I think we need to focus on the highest level soldiers. It's already end of April which means we're through March, we're through April. It's only June and July, so uh, this is not looking too good. Uh, we are at the Shadow Chamber, so that's a, that's a positive uh, one. Got to get more scientists, though, to speed up the research process. Good. We got the power relay, which means we have enough power. Uh, we we have more than enough power to fuel the shadow chamber. 
Yeah, and we need to continue clearing at the moment. Uh, that's the highest priority. Continue with Intel. And there is the Shadow Chamber that we were looking for. Definitely got to speed that up to 15 days. It's okay. Uh, which means we're going to be mid of May. May and June. Uh, we didn't even lose much time on getting the Shadow Chamber up. Like We just researched it literally. And that was about it. So I am concerned about... Um, just the speed of how fast we are currently building. So maybe instead of going there, we could increase the uh, building speed, but we don't have the skirmisher headquarter yet, so I can't scan for that. Um, and I'm pretty sure the black market doesn't necessarily have something either. We do have a good amount of intel now. Yeah, there are a few rush something options. There's a scientist for 110 intel. Nah, we, we need to continue stacking up intel. I need to hope that a scientist either spawns or that we're getting a mission, a uh, covert ops mission for a scientist. Yeah. It's not going to work elsewise. Bit of sectored uh, corpses that we can sell. Advent Tower, one. And that's it. End of the month. Yeah, thank you for the tip. Uh, so now she's going to um, attempt to sabotage the um, Avenger. We don't want uh, the bending uh, read option. That's going to be a problem. The aliens improve their threat response, guaranteeing reinforcements on all guerrilla ops missions permanently. That's even worse, so this one here needs to go. And a new facility will soon be constructed. So in terms of power, we're fine. I would go for one more iteration of just doubling resources if we get them. Alternatively, get another resistance contact. Is that important in the next 28 days? We're going to finish our um, shadow chamber and afterwards we're going to start researching. With the research, we probably uh, will find a new area. You know what, just for good measure, let's take the additional resource uh, resistance contact. Good. Now, what are the new options here? Gather intel and aim. Not bad. That's 40 intel. We don't need supplies. Ability points. Yeah, or locate faction. I would probably go with the additional aim um, and start with our second sniper. There's a pretty solid chance that they are going to be ambushed. So how about that second sniper works together with Pablo here. 
Mainly 40 Intel will be helpful. We do not put a uh, scientist up here. Ability points would be helpful. Or we're locating the skirmishers just to get more, potentially more missions going forward. Problem here is we would need to have a sergeant, which I am not willing to put up for that. All right, it's decided. We are going to go with those two. Grenadier or Ranger could be a thing as well. Let Jessica handle it. We could use her. And that'll be it. Intel Collection is not the best mission that we could go for. We do have 380 supplies, which I'm willing to collect now. And we need to find a way of just speeding this up if possible. Good, we got another engineer, theoretically. Not needing that. Yeah, we could just sell a few alien alloys. Ah, let's not do that. We need it for upgrades. We're going to be fine. Good, let's go for supply drops. Our inter looks fine. I think we're okay. Just from a timing perspective, the one thing that concerns me deeply is how slow we are building because now we will need to build the shadow chamber and then the research begins. We're, however, then already mid-May. We haven't really lost much time yet, so we're... Um, we were actually efficient uh, with it. Still 10 days um, in between uh, researching the alien encryption and starting to build the shadow chamber. Um, that could have been optimized a bit more and clearly the um, actual building could, could have been optimized a bit further as well with the skirmisher building. Got ourselves enough supplies now. Still don't want the resistance contact, so we're going to go back for uh, to Intel scanning. My biggest concern will be that we're not having sufficient time to make contact and get our way um, to all of the mission objectives. So a lot will come down to actual RNG, which is never a good thing if you're trying to do an achievement. May 10th and we're currently waiting for the shadow chamber nine more days. Ah, this is taking way too long. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to All right, we got a couple of targets, so this is an additional Scientist, which we probably will need, protect the device is uh, an absolute, yeah, negative objective. Beast-like uh, creatures, which will probably either be berserkers, they can spawn by now, um, faceless ones, probably a lot. It's a bit too early for chrysalids. And the other alternative is an engineer. Hmm. See, I wish it would be the other way around. Scientists reward for the um, guaranteed reinforcements. I do fear that we're going to get a lot of guaranteed reinforcements. But we got to get another scientist because uh, the research speed will be 
pretty important for us. In terms of whom we're putting onto this mission, by the way, plated armor is almost researched, so that's the only positive side effect here. In terms of whom we're putting on this mission, I think we're going to go with Wrath, um, Divert, Hayward, and probably Boom Boom. Yeah, that makes sense. Good, so that brings us to the end of today's mission. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, feel free to uh, click that nice little subscribe button or leave a comment down below. Uh, that is also much appreciated. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.